In this tutorial we're going to take a look at folder properties. So here we are again in my personal folder and what I'm going to do is just right click on a folder and choose properties. OK. This opens up the folder properties window. On the general tab we can see some general information about the folder such as the size it takes up, how many files it contains and the actual size it consumes on the disk. This is always a little bigger due to the way that files are stored on a hard drive. There's also this read only checkbox here. If you can't delete a file or folder sometimes unticking or unchecking this box will help. So what else do we have? Well there are tabs for sharing and security now, these tabs let you set permissions for other users to access your folders, both over the network and locally. I'm not going to dwell on these options here, since we'll be looking at how to share folders on a home network using home groups, and discussing security permissions is an advanced topic that you'll probably never have to deal with, unless you're a systems administrator. Now, some special folders such as my pictures and my music etc. These folders are actually links to other folders. So if I come to this tab here called location I can see that the real folder is actually in C users mat documents. This is similar to when you create a shortcut on your desktop to a file. This location is fine for the majority of users but if you really want to, you can customise this by clicking Move and then browsing to a new location on your computer. Perhaps you want to move your Pictures folder or Documents folder to a secondary hard drive where there's more space. Well, you can do that here, although since for most users the default location is fine, I'll leave it alone. Then we have the Previous Versions tab. We'll be covering this in detail in another video, so I'll move straight on to Customize. This is the tab I want to spend most time on. First of all, we're asked, what kind of folder do you want? At the top here. Now, Windows 7 knows about several different types of files, and the makers of Windows 7 realise that the best way to view pictures in a folder might not necessarily be the best way to view music, for example. So we can use this drop down box to tell Windows what type of content we are storing in the folder. We can choose from general items, documents, pictures, music and videos. Well since this is my documents, I'm going to leave it on documents. When you choose one of these, Windows will open this folder in a viewing mode suitable for that kind of content. You can even specify what kind of view you want for each type of content. For example, you can have large icons for pictures and details view for documents. We'll show you how in the next video. If I tick or check this box here, then any folders inside the current folder will also be switched to documents view, or whatever view I'd selected from here. Now, Windows is actually hiding quite a few options from us, because this folder is actually a link to another folder. So what I want to do is go on location and click find target to find the actual folder. OK, if I choose properties now and come back to customize. You can see I've now got the option to change the folder icon. With regular folders you have the options to customise even further. Let me show you this. Here's a folder I created myself. Let's right click and choose properties. And then go to customise. OK. So what else can we do here? Well, a fun little feature that was also in Windows Vista is the folder pictures. Now this doesn't work on folders that have their own custom icons, like my pictures and my videos etc. But it'll work on folders that you create yourself, such as this one. Click on Choose File, 
This opens up a file browser. Now you can browse to any picture stored on your PC. Let's use my pictures library. Choose a picture and click on open. Now click on apply and now you can see the picture has appeared on the folder. If you don't see it right away you may need to click refresh. We can also change the icon for the folder. by clicking here. This brings up the standard Windows icon library. We can browse through here and pick out any icon we so choose. Maybe the folder has DVD playback software in it, so I'll choose this DVD icon and then hit OK. Then hit Apply. Now you might have to hit the refresh button again. Yep, the icon has changed. That's basically all I wanted to show you with regard to folder properties. Remember, you can restore default icons by going back to the folder properties and clicking restore default here and change icon restore defaults here and then hitting apply. you may need to hit refresh before you see the icon back again. We also cover icon customization in our Windows Skins and Themes tutorials, so be sure to check those out too.